Good evening. This is our second television show getting ready for a 42nd Chicagoland Toys for Tots Motorcycle Parade. I am uh, Lester Fortier, the current president. Next to me is Matt Psyche. Uh, he's our sergeant at arms. He's been on the board for a while. And this is his first time on a television show. So how you doing, Matt? Hello, Lester. How are you? Good. Nice to be here. Good. And we have this show, like I said, to uh, create awareness for the parade and to thank All Involved for its safe operation and thank the city of Chicago for its support. And, of course, we have to thank Can TV for allowing us to, to use our wonderful studio here. Uh, during the next 25 minutes, we're going to discuss everything that it takes to make this happen. And Matt's going to go through our website for a little bit. And if Jack, if you're uh, if you're out there, how you doing, my friend? And all the other millions of people that are watching right now. Hi, Jack. So you want to? We're going to start showing you a little bit. What do you want to start with? The uh, whichever way you want to go there, Matt. Let them know. We'll start with the very first years of the parade. Okay. Okay. That ain't it. Well, this is the start of it. There it is. There it is. Okay. So what year did it start? 1978. Wow. A long time. Uh, yeah. It was originally started by six people that did the first run. Three of them actually made the run. Okay. When I heard. Um, oh, look at that archaic Toys for Tets on the back of that. Yes. Jacket. Very nice jacket. Up Western Avenue. I'd like to see what that would look like today. Uh, I'd like to see what that would look like today. With all the building changes and all oh, yeah, everything's different. That would, that would look really, really nice. Fantasy, Fantasy Chopper. Choppers. It's the uh, storefront that the very first guy that organized this, Animal. what he went through, Aminol. Okay. There's a picture of the storefront on 63rd Street. Crew picture. And then here's some news articles that were uh, posted. It's Santa and the Marine Corps and Animal. Uh, this is actually um, a slideshow presentation. If you scroll on the bottom, it'll show you all the different pictures throughout the years. And here's some and more. Just story. to let everybody know, back in the. Uh, Dan Ryan Woods. I think it was the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. There's the original guy in Puppy. Yep. It, uh, Elizabeth Taylor's bike was in it. I did not Her know that. Her husband wrote it. Yeah, I forgot his name. I did not know that. Forbes, I think it was. A real rich guy. Okay. Purple Passion was the name of the Harley Davidson. What a neat, interesting articles you start reading on these things. Oh, yeah. But go on our website. What's our website again? ChicagoLandTFT.org is our website. And it'll tell you, get you all the links of all the pictures, the archives that we've had, all the past and current board members, um, events that were our meeting dates, north and south side. Um, a, lot of whole, a lot of information for everyone. It just got revamped, and I did a very, yeah, very good job. Yes, just got redone this year, and uh, very nice job. Very good. I was actually going through Why some of these. Why don't we go to meet the board? We can introduce the board. Okay, let me find it here. That's up here. Parade. Oh, we've had a few marriages on this thing also. Yes, we have. Oh, biz bitch. Yeah, click on that. She said you could see stuff on that, too. I actually looked at that the other night. Was there more than one picture? There it is, up in the corner there is Meet the Board. There it is. Is that, is that the current board? Meet the Board, yes. Okay, that's me, George Lester Fortier. That's Tom Durst, Durst, the Vice President. Peggy Estes, our Secretary. Yep. Geo Webster. Webster, Treasurer. Myself, Sergeant yeah, at Arms. Sankey. Maynard Marsh, Northside Coordinator. Yeah, he was supposed to be here today. Jim Fennell, our Parade Coordinator. Scott Rehack, our Product Coordinator. And Shelby Wisniewski, our Bylaw Historian. Shelby did an excellent job this year with uh, updating the bylaws. Um, members Handbook. Members Handbook. And working with Jack with the... And almost all of us are smiling. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> well, that's because I'm eating a steak. <laughs> Okay, but she did an excellent job this year with, with the website and everything. Very, uh -huh. very good job. Okay. That's us. I don't want you to us. think we left. <laughs> uh, what do you think so far, Matt? Pretty cool, huh? The website, yes. It is, well, we'll sit well, in a chair, yeah. being on TV. Very first time. 
Good you fun. just gotta remember when you go like this, it's the wrong hand on the TV screen. It goes either way. It's like backwards, like a mirror. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we would love for anybody out there to give us a phone call. We have Gary Diamond on our phone. He used to be a former board member, and he's graciously has given us his time to uh, be a part of the TV show again. Gary is still very much active in the board. Yes, he is. Very good. Man. Okay, he's also uh, Jim Fennell is second in command for mm -hmm. our co uh, parade, parade coordinator. coordinator. Okay, so Gary brings a lot of experience to the board into position that he has and that oh, he's yeah. done in the past. Okay, does a very good job. We all okay. do. Not just them. We all do a good job. Uh, it's not easy being on the board. <laughs> no, it's not. That's no, not easy. <laughs> but we've had some pretty good meetings lately. They've been ending pretty have. quick. We've Everybody had, seems to understand why we're here. We've had good turnouts at the kickoff parties and first yeah, general meetings. That's right. Okay. Oh, we have a caller. Howdy. Hey, what is your name and who are you? <coughs> My name is Jack Vaughn. Hi, Jack. Another former board member. How are we doing so far? Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's uh, call and let you know there are 46 days. Yeah, I wrote that down too. Yep. Uh, 46 days. Until the day of the parade. Yes, sir. So as time flies, it'll be next week, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll seem like that. It will. <laughs> this is Matt's first time on the show. Yeah, it looks good. You Thank you. I'm kind of glad he showed up because everybody else said they were going to come and they didn't. The funny thing is you guys are mentioning Malcolm Forbes. Yes, that was his That's, name. Okay. And Elizabeth Taylor, and, and it was funny because one of the photos that are in that slideshow that you went past is of him from the Tribune. Really? And he was riding that Purple Harley that was called Purple Passion, right? That's right, with a group called the Capitalist Tools. Capitalist oh. Tools, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, one of the celebrities that we've had. Yeah, we've had a few of them. But this guy here is usually towards the front of the parade. See, I'll, load, here, I'll go back to it. I don't know how he loads up his bike like that. He must start loading it up right after the parade from last year. Actually, I talked to him uh, last year at uh, Lane Tech, or whatever I. Uh, he starts about a week and a half to two weeks. All those are individually mounted on his bike. Really? Okay. I'm not seeing any photo. Have you got a photo up of him? Yeah. The, the okay, guy on the bike with all the toys. That's him there. See him? Well, not uh, where I'm at. There oh, we go. Oh, it might be a delay, Jack. I got it up on the TV screen here. Okay, it just came up. Okay, very good. And uh, he and fills the is... wagon that he pulls with toys. He's been coming for years. For years. He actually is a former member. He just has not been coming to the meetings. Uh, he said he was going to come back this year. And we don't put him at the front. He just gets there that early. He gets there that early. He's there about 5 o'clock. Well, tell us, what? Matt, the day in the life of our... Let's, Sergeant at Arms, excuse me. Tell us about the day of the parade. What time do you get there? What do you do? It's not like we all show up and smiling and go on a motorcycle run. Can I throw one thing in? Sure. That name is Bob Snyder. Bob Snyder, yes. Thank you. Of Orland Park. I can't remember his name, but he's, he's been there before and I've talked to him. He's a very nice guy. Yes. Very good. <laughs> so. My day starts, I'm at the woods at 4 a.m. with Peggy uh, and some of her friends. 4 a.m. in the morning? 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm there in the woods. And it's still dark, right? It's still dark. <laughs> okay. And it's usually pretty cold, too. It's pretty cold. So, uh, last year I beat the police department there. Okay, for the forest there. Wow. Uh, about the forest was Did they have the gates open? Gates were, uh, were not open, no. I was actually sitting out in a driveway on Western Avenue. You're going to wait till the forest is here to get there to open up, take the cables okay. down so we can get in? Yes. Uh, once I get there, I do a drive through of Dan Ryan Woods, make sure there's no bottles, anything like that from the day before if anyone was in the woods. Uh, then I go and set up the uh, generator for the pavilion, light that up. And then we just wait for uh, everyone else to get there and roll it in. I think before your time on the board, Jack, do you remember? You still there? Yeah. Do you remember they had a pack of wild dogs in the woods they were telling us oh, about? Yeah. Oh, sure. You remember they, they had a pack of wild dogs that were attacking people in the woods. They let us Never know. heard about that oh, one. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> that didn't attack us, though, because... <laughs> Never knew about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were afraid of us. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> That's right. <laughs> I remember we were trying to warn us. Okay. That's right. So, once the pavilion is lit and everyone starts rolling in, then I cruise the fire lanes. 
uh, keeping fire lanes clear. I check in and with what all. What do we need the fire lanes for? Emergencies. And at the other end of the parade where we ended over there at the, uh, I guess at the paw lot now a few years ago, and I think I'm pretty sure you were there. Yes. We had an issue where someone had a diabetic seizure or something or passed out or yes, something. Yes, I remember hearing about that. And the fire department got there within minutes. It was like there were yes. nobody in the parking lot, and everybody did such a great yeah. job of allowing them to go yep. through. Remember that? Yes. We had the same thing on the south side once. Remember that? I think that was right after I got on the board. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. One or two years but we try to make sure we have a safe parade. We know things happen, and we always are ready for it. We have uh, ambulances chasing each tear or try to. And we usually have our Doc Joe come to one of our last meetings yes, and explain to us all about hyperthermia and what you should and should not do if somebody you know, gets in any kind of a motorcycle accident. Moving a patient, you know, make sure their C-spine is, is, is good. And he's very, yes. very good. And I'm very proud to say that we're the only organization, I think, and we get the actual Santa Claus to lead our parade. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Along with his elves. elves the elves are a lot bigger than you think they are. i got to <laughs> tell you that. Yes, they are. So once uh, I check in with all the two leaders again, once Santa gets to the woods, I check in with him, and then I leave for the north side. I'm one of the last persons to go up Western Avenue in case there's any last minute accidents, stuff like that, I can report back down to the board uh, and the tier leaders so we can you know, accommodate. And we all have radios, right? Yes, we all have radios, and then uh, I stay up at Lane Tech or DeVry until the very end. So. And being a, a board member, uh, we make a deal with the city of Chicago where we become the parade marshals. Yes. And on us, if anybody ever challenges us about the, our insurance, our permits of any kind, every board member will have a copy of it. Yep. To keep from having any, having any issues, which sometimes they will question you and say, "What do you do if this or that happens?" Right. They actually check you out for that. Right. But we're usually pretty prepared. But the one interesting thing I got to tell you is, we don't get the permit for the parade usually until the week of the parade. We have yeah. to make sure we've done everything they required. This TV show is one of the things that's required to let everybody know in Chicago that there's going to be a lot of motorcycles going on Western Avenue the very first Sunday of the month. Along with mailing out about 5,000 letters, that yep. costs a little bit of money. Tagging. Ta we have to ta tag, ta let everybody all the businesses before. know we're going to be there. Uh, it's actually a fun event to go to. I've done it a couple We've times. Uh, yeah, it's it's a cool thing. It's a very cool thing. What's nice is you know, when, you, when I've done tagging in the past, I've actually met people that tell me, I go to parade every year, and I bring my grandkids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. amazing. They sit there like they're watching a Bears game. And when you go up Western Avenue, see them, they all got their lawn chairs all on the street waiting uh -huh. for the parade to start, okay? It's actually pretty nice to see. It's very nice to see. Thank you to Chicago for allowing us to do that. Not too many major cities will allow it, because basically, you being a sergeant at arms, it's like we're invading the city. Yes, we are. We're actually cutting it in half. Yes. But the good thing is, according to our toy uh, committee head, our vice president, Tom Dirtz, uh, we took care of over 33,000 children last year. That's amazing. I mean, that's, you know. It gets bigger every year. Which to me, I think we could, not that I'm going to become a philosopher here, solve all the world's ills, but if every kid had a toy on Christmas, maybe they wouldn't turn out to be, you know, bad guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yeah. But it's still it's still amazing feat to, to accomplish. Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely. You know, not no many organizations have been around as long as we have. And everybody knows who we are. The few yes. issues we've had, it was amazing how the whole city rallied around yes. us. Yes. You know, it's truly amazing. Yes. Uh, long, people come from all over. We've had people from Michigan, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio. They come up here for the week and trailer a bike and I ride a parade. Yeah, I really can't mention any businesses, but I got to tell you, we had our vice president on TV going through our warehouse, showing people what we do, sorting the toys and yes. bagging them and such. And uh, he got kind of emotional, for lack of a better word. Yes, right? I did. And a young brother and sister from uh, Israel who owns a moving company with about 15, 20 trucks, seen that. They filled their trucks full of uh, toys and brought them down to our warehouse and actually brought people to unload them for us. Yes. And that was truly amazing. And uh, they're going to be in our parade. We're going to allow them to be, you know, not we're going to allow them. We're going to beg them to be in our end point or start the tiers and such like that. So expect Excellent. to see them this year. Excellent. I look forward to everybody it. everybody got to check in with Matt to how that thing works is uh, 
day of the parade, Matt's got the woods. That's his deal. Peggy, our secretary, has the street. Once the parade gets going, the parade coordinator, which would be Jimbo Fanello, he is in control of the parade going down Western Avenue. And then once it makes that left turn into the DePaul parking lot, that's when our north side coordinator takes over. Right. And we all get along great. If there's any issues, we can all be like the Marine Corps. We all can fill in and do everybody else's job if we had to. And then we have our treasurer and our product and coordinator. Other and yep. Yep. Just to let you know what's going on there. It makes it a long, worthwhile day, even though it's a long day for a lot of us. Yeah, I'm usually the last guy out like you were. Yeah. So now, let's tell the people that uh, we need volunteers to help us. Oh, yes, we do. And volunteers. Come on, give us a that. call. 312-738-1060. Yep. He has much better eyes than I do. <laughs> Thank you. Or come out to our next meeting on uh, Friday, October 25th at the Rhine VFW. And that's right. Our next meeting, we're going to put it up on our website. If you could find that, all our meeting dates. And, uh, yeah, definitely come on out. Come on in. See what's going on. Uh, if you like what you see, join. And also, you can find out a lot about us on Facebook. We've got uh, three, actually, Facebook pages. So uh, put our name in the search, and you'll go right to us. Facebook, Toys, be... Chicago Land Motorcycle Parade. Chicago Land Toys for Tots. Tots. Motorcycle Parade. Motorcycle Parade. Go on that Facebook. Okay, cool. And then you'll be notified of all the meetings and uh, all the other events. So how many hits do we have on Facebook now? Well, we're just under 20,000 on oh. our uh, main page. In the oh. last six months, I think we've gotten uh, about 60 new members, Good. likes on that. And on our group page, in the last six months, we've got uh, over 100 new new members. Well, I personally think that our BB-1, that truck that right. we put together with all the decals on it and such, I think that creates a lot of awareness for our organization. It does. It's moving signboard. It makes our meetings a bit easier as far as less congested. Uh, yes. And plus, wherever it goes, people notice it. Yes. Do you agree, Jay? Oh, yeah. I think it's great. It, and it looks really cool. People should check it out just uh, to see what it looks like. Actually, I just brought the, the biz bash. Okay, we're going to look at this biz bash. Okay, go ahead. This was something Shelby had uh, talked about last night at our board meeting. It's uh, a website, and it breaks it down into categories uh, in Chicago, the best places to go. Any. And our parade was number 10 wow. for things to see in Chicago. Okay. I guess we made it then, huh? We made it. Okay. I think it was actually number 10 of the... Parades in Chicago. That's it. Number ten of parade. Yes. Yeah. It's okay, Jack. Just keep on bringing us down, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I only looked at it briefly at the meeting last night. I didn't get a chance to look at it, but I was actually pretty impressive to see this. Pictures about us on there? No. Uh, All right, well, I'm going to hang up, and uh, you guys can take some other callers. Thank I you hope. so much for thank calling, you, Jack. Jack. Thanks for calling. It. See you next week. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's okay. Why don't we? Uh, See, they missed us. They wanted to see us. <laughs> so why don't you pull up some pictures from the parade we could show them. Okay. Maybe our meeting dates and such. Yeah, here. This whole organization is made up of volunteers, okay? And you'd be amazed how many people that can remember being helped by this organization when they were younger. And now they're in a position to give back, and they do. We're talking about hospitals, homes for battered women, and children, unfortunately. I've been a few of, to a few of those, and... Uh, we try to make ensure that every child has a toy for Christmas. Toy for Christmas. Here are some of the events we were just at. Yeah. So here's an old parade picture on Western. Yep. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Here's uh, BB1 at an event with some of our volunteers, and I think that was the the bike run they did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Ariana's Wings. Yeah, we um, get involved with other charities other also. Other charities that we donated to. Oh, I gotta give this. Sorry about that. It's okay. More Ariana's Wings. 42. 42, that's our poster this year. That yes, says. December 1st. If you live in the city and around there, make sure you decide what side of Western you want to be on. Might be on the east side. Because, uh, 
As per the city of Chicago, we will have break up into as many tiers as we need. Two, yes. We usually have about five, 6,000 bikes in one tier. After they pass, we shut down the street. They open it up again for about 10 or 15 minutes for any kind of cross traffic. And then we start yes. again. Now, if there is any, we got to go past it. If there is any... Uh, per Sunday in December, okay. Issues along the route, we are un instructed and we have gotten out of the way for any kind of... Uh, Vehicles, yes. you know, emergency vehicles that go down Western Avenue. Yes. Never been an issue. We do everything we can to ensure we have a parade next year. So here's our parade meeting dates and yep. locations. Uh, south side is the Ryan VFW, Archer, and Central. North side is the Moose Lodge on Fullerton River Grove. Uh, all meetings start at 7 or shortly thereafter. Okay. Again, it's all on the website. Again, this is very, if you never look at the website, check it out. We've redone it. Uh, tons of information on here. Okay. Our parade history parade also. History. Then. Okay. So let's see. Meeting locations. Okay. There they are. There that's they a are. picture of the, uh, of that's the, the north side, right? That's the north side, and this is the VFW Hall. Yep. Okay. Actually, this picture, picture was just taken last week by Jack. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Jack. I was, I'm, I'm in there. Okay. Um, questions that people commonly ask about the parade. How long does it take? Uh, where does the parade start? Where does the parade end? What happens if in inclement weather? Yeah, we ride. We have a parade no matter what. Okay. Uh, some years it's been very nice. We've had 70 degree weather and 75,000 motorcycles. A couple years ago, we only had, I don't know how many we had when it snowed, but people still were out there. And last year it rained a little bit and everybody last stayed Last year it rained? Yeah, okay. But one thing, I, here, let me just show that. Again, very good pictures. They'll bring that up. You can see that's an example of uh, what the parking lot looks like. Yeah, this is the yeah. variety lane tech at the end. Okay. That's the small sampling. What it small ends sampling. Up place getting packed and all yes. the toys they regenerate two or three semi trucks full of toys. There's warehouse. That's right. There this is go. the woods. This is looks like one of the tiers. Yep. Look how well organized line. it is. Okay. You know, I, it's the only time you can get a bunch of motorcycles together and no one's or no one's arguing. Everyone's happy. Oh yeah, okay. definitely. We have no issues. Okay. We have no. Uh, I'm better than you. We're nothing like that. We do a good job. Okay. Now, if anybody wants to get a hold of us personally, one of the deals about being a member of this board on this wonderful and great giving organization is that you have to have your real phone number and your yes. email address on the website. Go on the website. You want to contact me? You want to contact Matt? Anybody else on the board? Questions, concerns, That's whatever. Right. Okay, we are here for you. Let us know and okay. we'll do our best to answer your questions or do what we can for you. Okay? So if anybody's out there and wants to call, we're not a uh, we're not afraid of hearing you. Again, our phone number is 312-738-1060. You know, something I, I always talk about with the parade, the best part to see the parade is being a road blocker. On a bike or on the on, side? On the side of the road. Because once you see the train, you see Santa and the elves, and you see that first line of bikes, yeah. that is truly what the meaning of Christmas is in the city of Chicago, okay? It's not going to the store Thanksgiving night, you know, away from your family shopping. Christmas starts the day to parade. I agree. Okay? That's when you get the true meaning of, of what the motorcycle Ooh. community and what people mean to the city of Chicago. Well, okay? yeah, we got to really put a shout out to the stationary blockers because without them we would not have this no. parade, trust me. No, it's they uh they help us immensely. I can remember we didn't didn't it, I'm a lot older than you. I remember we didn't have stationary blockers. Everybody on a bike you just have to pull over in a corner and we have to hopscotch all right. the way down there. I started as a stationary and you blocker. Got tired, you know what okay, I mean? Yeah. I started as a stationary blocker the first four years. Okay. Uh, I was at the same corner and you get a, it gets a little emotional. You see the, the first wave, and you really get a sense for the meaning oh, of what, yeah, what the parade means to everyone. Okay, uh, then we came on the board. That's right. Uh, but stationary blockers are, are very important to this organization, as long as everyone is. Okay, 
they keep the intersection safe, okay, along with police and departments. And businesses that help okay. us by putting posters. Businesses, and posters, stuff. okay. Car clubs come out there and, you know, it's, it's, it's advertising for them as well, That's right. okay. And they all have a good time. Matt, I got to tell you, buddy, you did a good job. Thank you, sir. It went by fast, didn't it? Yes, it did. Oh, we got a caller. Okay, hurry up. Yes, hello. Hi, how are you guys? It's Debbie from Tier 4. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Deb. You guys are doing a wonderful job, as always. Thank you. Thank you. And I just wanted to say um, to everybody out there, check out our website for products. We're selling it out good. Yep. We're doing well. Just follow the truck. It's all on the truck. <laughs> follow the truck is right. It'll be at Draft Bar on Friday, so come on out. Yep. Go on our website. That'll all be shown to you. But anyway, yes, thank you so uh, much for calling, Deb, but we got to go. All right, bye. All right, thank Thanks, you very Deb. much. Uh, I guess our next program will be next Wednesday. Yes, it will be. Same bad time, same, same, same. bad channel. We will Again, be Gary Diamond, thank you so much for helping us with the phones. And we will see you next week. Thank you very much.